Hey everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be a love reading. We are gonna find out who is your true love. Have you met this person yet? And some characteristics that they may have, what sign they may be. So I have nine options here. I want you guys to observe each of these stones and numbers and see which one really calls out to you. Now while you do that, I do wanna announce that I still have pick a card readings going on on my Instagram and on my Patreon. So if you love what I do and wanna see more or wanna support my channel, go ahead and check out you know my patreon or my instagram i'll leave the links below you guys know the drill thank you so much for listening to my intro let's just hop right into the video and find out who is your true love all right option number one let's see what's going on so if you chose option number one let's find out who is your true love so i do feel like this is somebody that has gone through a lot of harsh lessons in their life i feel like this could be somebody that you know already because we see reconciliation here if not, then it could be somebody that you've known from your past life, or this could be someone that you might have crossed paths with before, but you may not have a full-blown relationship with yet. I do see that you and this person are destined for marriage, so um, you are destined to be married, and you and this person do have a unique bond together. Now, I already feel like if you know this person, they are really fond of you. They really want to be faithful to you, and I do feel like in the past, they could have had problems with lust. So I feel like you do know this person really well, but you might have had an up and down relationship with them or a non-committal relationship, or maybe they just couldn't commit to you. But I feel like in the future, they may be able to if you know them already. Now, if you don't know them very well, you could have just been friends with them and known about their lustful side, but you two might grow into a fidelity type of relationship in the future. Or if you don't know them at all, um, you and this person might have just like connected and they might just share with you the fact that, you know, they may have not always been the best person in a relationship. They may have always had a problem with lust until, you know, they've grown. And they may have grown before they met you. So that's really interesting. They could have Libra in their chart or Taurus. So I feel like this person could be an earth sign or an air sign or have fire in their chart as well. I'm seeing Virgo and Capricorn coming strong as well or some of the air signs too. I feel like this person could also have some Leo in their chart with the lion here. But I do feel like this person definitely acts on their passions, on their impulses, but they're not going to be afraid to announce their love towards you. So if you're thinking, oh, do I know this person, but this person is not sharing their feelings with you, this is not the type of person to hide how they're feeling. As a matter of fact, they're very like lustful and they love to go after what it is they desire and they will not hold back from that. I feel like this is a true love because you and this person are able to open a lot of doors for each other. I feel like you guys have a lot of excitement together and I feel like you guys enjoy getting together in groups. Maybe this person starts off as your friend or you meet them in a group of friends. Like I said, some of you guys, I feel like you know this person already and some of you guys, I feel like you have not met them yet, but you're gonna meet them in a get together out with friends. So I feel like this person will really respect the fact that you're spiritual. I feel like this person, um, they may have been lacking in spirituality when they met you or they might have been someone who like, was familiar or a part of a traditional background that kind of lacked like spirituality from their own like point of view. They may have been taught certain things but not followed it. You get what I'm saying? Like they're the type of person to tell you, oh, you know, I was raised with this religion but I don't really follow it. But so they're, I kind of feel like this person might have been a little detached from spirituality, but you might bring spirituality into their life. So they might see you as a spiritual teacher. I especially see you guys teaching this person about astrology or just trying to share with them what you know. And this person, like, they may not be that spiritual in that sense, but they will definitely respect that or they might get to be more spiritual oh my gosh a marriage again so you see how we have wedding and marriage and reconciliation if you do not marry this person in this lifetime you definitely were married to them in more than one lifetime and i'm seeing this marriage connection so it's almost like upon meeting this person you and this person will like go from zero to 100 because it's like you've been married before to, like you guys have been married before so you might act out like how you were in your past life like out of nowhere you get what i'm saying I'm seeing like doing this person definitely have a lot of um, growth to do. Always when I think about flowers, I think about how they take time to grow, but they grow into something beautiful. I feel like this is something that you guys need to work on your communication. Either you guys have great clear communication or you need to communicate more clearly with one another. I'm getting to think that this person doesn't have great communication because they just want to act. They don't always want to like just like explain themselves. Yes, they will tell you how they feel, but they're not going to sit down and have like a long, long conversation with you about it or go into details or psychoanalyze. They're just going to say, this is how I feel. And this is what I'm going to do. And that's their personality. 
Um, you might have to be assertive with this person because I do feel like they're very assertive and they might try to push you around a little bit. So I feel like you might have to learn how to be more assertive in this relationship. And yeah, you guys definitely have to learn to compromise as well. Now I'm also seeing that you also have to learn to focus on your own health through this relationship. Um, this person may stress you out a little bit because they're a very strong energy. But I also feel like you help this person improve their own health, their mental health, their spiritual health as well. And I feel like you and this person do have a bit of arguments. Um, you know, this person is very hardworking. Um, they might be a bit of a workaholic. Um, they're also quite impulsive. They love to go towards like their goals or their impulses. And this person is very highly competitive. You may also see that they might compete with you a little bit on the friendly end, but I definitely feel like overall, they kind of have a childlike sense of wonder. And with the 10 of cups here, I do feel like you and this person might end up having a family together and stuff like that. But I feel like this person is very whimsical, like they're very impulsive, but they do have a positive side to them because you will have that commitment. You will have that loyalty from them. And I feel like it's because they had a past where they weren't that way. They've grown out of it. And it's like they left that side of themselves behind. It's not like this person who was loyal to you all of a sudden and then, and then all of a sudden just disappears. Like they're going to be the opposite because they've been that unreliable person in their past. So now they're excited to be able to be loyal and dedicated to somebody. And I, as somebody is going to be you because they have those strong feelings for you. Also, I do feel like because you had that strong marriage connection to them with so many lifetimes, they're just going to automatically feel very loyal to you. And it might be because of your past life and that might not be their nature at first. So I feel like, you know, for some reason you bring that side out of them. So I do feel like this is a very um, helpful growth relationship as well. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect. No relationships are perfect. But if you know this person and you know this person is working on it, then that's good. Um, some of you guys, you know, I do feel like this will, this will work out for you. So let's see if we can get any more advice about this connection. So yeah, some of you guys might meet this person at a new job or career. Or this person might influence you into new jobs and careers. They might, you know, you might met this person in September. They could be born in September. Or something might happen. You might get engaged in September. I'm also seeing that... Together, you guys will increase material and spiritual wealth and growth. So that's what's going on in that connection. And I also want to see something else. I just feel like for some of you guys, you know, you're going to have a lot of big happy changes happen. And I feel like for some of you guys, there's an unlikely card here. So I feel like some of you guys may not want to stay with this person and might want to move forward, but it doesn't make them any less of a true love. I do see so much marriage potential there. So you have the choice of marrying this person. I do feel like it's a free will type of ordeal. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you might grow out of love with this person. And it's kind of like this, the message I'm getting here because I feel like they're kind of like an opposing force at times. And they're very highly competitive and a lot of high energy. Maybe you want to be with someone a little more chill, laid back, you know, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's see what else. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys will stay with this person and some of you guys will keep an open mind. But it's all going to have to do with your spiritual path. So that's what I see. But I feel like this person will want to be with you. And it won't make them any less of a true love because I do feel like you will feel the connection with them 100%. But it depends on if you feel like they're the right person for you. And you could have more than one true love. And if you know who this person is and you're not into it, you can always pick another card. But I definitely feel like a lot of you guys will be sticking around for this person because you really do care about them as well. Or you will upon meeting them. All right. Option number two. Let's see who your true love is. All right. Let's hop right into it. So this true love does have a little bit of a problem being honest. I feel like they might put up facades a little bit, but I do feel like um, they may realize a little late in the game that you guys are soulmates, but I feel like this is someone you need to be patient with. Um, I'm, I'm getting a lot of air from this person. They could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or Gemini. They can also be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Makes sense for my air signs and my um, earth signs and my air signs. Sorry that they would not notice their feelings right away. So I feel like this person can have a lot of air and earth in their chart. So they could be a, v a Virgo, a Capricorn. Um, you know, they could have some sort of music talent, though. I'm also seeing that as well. Um, but I do feel like you need to be patient with this person. Because I do feel like a part of you and them know you're going to be together forever. But I feel like for some of you guys, you know this person already. And they caused you a lot of great personal sorrow. Now, I feel like this person is always trying to focus on bringing more material wealth into their life. But I feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that are temporary about this person. I do feel like, um, okay, yeah, this person could be a man for most of my females watching or, you know, gay men watching or if you're watching a man watching for a woman, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. But I, I'm seeing this person could be around the same age as you, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting at. Um, 
yeah, I feel like this person definitely needs to go through a lot of transformations here in their life. So I'm feeling like this could be someone that you already know. I'm just getting that because I'm already feeling that there's already deep personal sorrow. But if you don't know this person yet, then that means that this person could be going through a depression right now as we speak. But let's see what else I can get about the situation. We get some success coming in here. So this person's definitely going to come through a time in your life when you need to well, I feel like you need to forgive this person, but it also they can come at a time where you need to be forgiving others. I'm also feeling like you're going to be asking a lot of people for help through this connection. I do feel like ultimately you're going to be more successful through this connection. So if this connection does give you a hard time, I do know that it's for your growth and it's going to help you bring more material wealth into your own life for whatever reason. I definitely feel like you're going to have strong feelings for each other though. We got the two of cups here, but it's not going to be without a little bit of heartache, unfortunately. But I do feel like, you know... This person's gonna need to take a time out a little bit and realize their feelings for you because we got the two of cups, the ace of cups. There's a strong connection going on here, guys. But I feel like this person definitely, they might have been a little younger than you or just less mature than you because I feel like they're just not seeing it or they're not working towards it like they should. So I feel like, yeah, this person's gonna need a lot of patience. But, um, you know, your, your desire is within reach. Um, I feel like some of you guys might end up pregnant. Like, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, there might be something that happens in this connection that forces you guys to become closer and this person will realize their feelings and step up. Um, I'm also getting that this person just will not admit their feelings right away. But there is potential here for this connection. And I am seeing this. I'm also seeing that, yeah, this person will actually grow to be a king of cups, which is an emotionally mature person. So I do feel like it's not going to be without heartache. Some of you guys, you might have a child with this person already and it's very on and off. But you might end up together um some of you guys you know have done away with this person already and maybe you're you know it doesn't make them any less of a true love because there is real feelings there but i'm always saying to people we could have more than one so don't worry if you're not interested in this connection right now you could be in the future again um this person might always call or text you on your birthday to let you know that they care about you like i said before they could be very childish or you guys could have children together I feel like this person is very passionate towards you. Um, I'm also feeling like they're very passionate in bed, and that's what led to this, or will lead to that. But they also have a very playful side to them. I'm also seeing that, yeah, um, this person will take a while to express their love to you, but I feel like you guys won't be shy of telling them how you feel. And yeah, this person in Pentacles, see, they have all this earth in their chart, so they could be a, a Virgo, Capricorn or an air sign, or whatever, air, earth, but they're just very slow moving, and they'll take their time, but they will actually commit to you, and I do see this, um, but not without some bumps in the road. See, it says news of birth or business opportunity. See, again, we have so much imagery with children, so I really do feel like this could be someone that you have children, will have children with, want to have children with, or this person's very childish, um, but also I feel like this person um, could start a business and that can give them more confidence in themselves. And I'm feeling like this person wants to be more. They want to do more with their life. I feel like love is not their first priority. They didn't mean to fall in love. Maybe you've known this person for a very long time. Or you have not met them at all. It'll take them a while, but they will come around. Um, I kind of feel like you just be disappointed with them. The heartache will come from you feeling like they're two-faced. Like telling you one thing, not performing. Or just, you know, acting like they love and care about you without telling you. You know, one or the other. I'm kind of getting from this vibe. But yeah, I just feel like this person at first, you're just not going to be interested. Um, you could have Aquarius energy in your chart or water energy I'm seeing or fire. But I just feel like at the end of the day, this person, um, they're just very defensive and they're not interested in like breaking down their walls. But, you know, they will for, I do feel like eventually they will follow their passion and become this king of pentacles as well. So we got the king of pentacles coming up here and we also have the, um, the King of Cups. So we're, we're seeing someone who, once they require their place in this world, they find this, their status, they find, you know, what they're meant to do, who they're meant to be, they find themselves, they're going to become more of who you want them to be. So this is not bad at all. And for some of you guys, this is from afar. Some of you guys, you know, getting back together. Some of you guys just um, working your whole way through the relationship. It's more about the personality than it is about the scenario. But if you know this person already, you know, maybe don't give up hope on them. You can still live your life and move forward, but you never know what's going to happen in the future, especially if you have children with this person but either way even if you choose to move on from them you do have a strong connection with them i always tell it i say that's every option because a true love doesn't mean you have to be with that person some true loves as you guys know come with a lot of ups and downs so um and it may not be the most stable love for you guys so that's what i see for my option number two people thank you guys so much for watching i hope that helped you guys out a little bit all right moving forward all right so Let's move on to option number 
see what we're at 14 minutes all right option number three let's see who is your true love all right so if you chose option number three let's see what's going on so okay so we have somebody that you might be getting engaged to maybe pretty soon. This is someone you shared a past life with. Now we also have released your ex here. So I'm getting that for a lot of you guys, you can have more than one true love. It could be you have an ex that's a true love, but you also have another true love coming in. Um, both these people you might have shared a past life with. Um, I'm feeling like you guys are on a path where you're learning what is a balanced relationship. What is a stable relationship? That's what I'm seeing. You know, and I feel like a lot of you guys um, will be getting a, a new person a chance. And I feel like this person's going to offer you a lot of commitment. I feel like they might commit to you very fast because it's just going to make sense to them. Um, they could have some Aries in their chart. Uh, you could be dealing with fire signs, both the past person and the new person. Um, either way, I feel like this person... Um, I feel like uh, I feel like if you have an ex that is like bothering you, that you have forces that is going to protect you from this person. Um, you could have someone born in July in your life right now, or this person could be born in July. I feel like a lot of you guys um, learn through a, a past connection. That's why it's coming through. And the angels want to say that, yes, like your past relationship was a true love, but don't worry, you do have another love coming in. And I feel like you guys are taking in stride, like the advice from the universe, from the angels saying, like helping you with valid criticism also i'm feeling like the person that comes into your life will offer you advice and valid criticism as well so i feel like you guys are the type of people that actually value valid criticism valid criticism i don't feel like you like to be criticized i feel like you like valid which makes sense you want to grow and i see this um I feel like, yeah, it's going to be all about balance. I say we got balance again. So the most important aspect of this new person coming in is balance. I feel like you guys dealt with the relationship, maybe with a fire sign in the past that was very off balance. Um, or it just doesn't matter what sign, but uh, fire, earth, water, whatever. But I feel like, you know, they could be born in July. Like I said, that's Cancer um, and um, Leo, right? Um, so I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to get back to the basics. I feel like the person that you are meant to be with is very down to earth. They're very easy, practical, very um, logical type of person, just knows what to say at the right time, very balanced, very well structured, whereas you could have dealt with the complete opposite in the past. Like I said before, same type of strong connection because you had a past life with a lot of people. So I see you got a past life with someone from your past and a past life with someone coming in. Now, I also feel like for a lot of you guys, Guys, yes, there is something better than this ex that keeps coming into the reading. And you could be meeting this new person within the next couple months. And if you met this new person already, just wait. I feel like you guys could be getting to the next level very soon. Or just, they're just coming very soon in general. So that's what I see. Um, you could actually be moving in with this person. This person could actually be a homeowner. I'm hearing they could be a homeowner at a young age, which is really interesting. This person you could meet around a holiday time period. I'm kind of seeing beach, summery, like kind of like maybe Memorial Day or something like that or 4th of July. Because we see July coming in. You could actually meet this person in July. I'm seeing that um, you, and, you and this person may actually end up having children or this person actually could work with children or love children. I'm just seeing that and not in like a creepy way. They just love like helping, mentoring children, that kind of aspect. Um, I see with the Seven of Wands here that you and this person are... Um, both very defensive. I feel like you've both dealt with a lot of challenges in life and I feel like you're both ready to face that connection head on upon meeting each other. So I feel like you and this person both um, like are entering a new cycle. So that's when you're going to meet. And I feel like this person coming into your life will change your life forever. And I'm actually getting that maybe your ex and this person are both fire signs or have both fire. Maybe you like to attract fire signs, but I am feeling fire, 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 fire from two people, but two totally different types of fire signs I'm seeing. Does that make sense? I just feel like you guys dealt with fire sign, but you might be meeting a fire sign. But you, like I said before, or strong fire in the chart. Um, we can get some more. Yeah, I just feel like you could be meeting this person at a, um, you know, a social gathering or something like that. But you're de if you're already involved with your ex still, um, you're definitely going to reconsider that upon meeting this person because you're just going to have complete trust in this new person that comes in. And this person is also your true love and you're definitely ready to meet this person. So as soon as you meet this person, you're going to see your situation improves. Whereas the person from your past, they didn't really help your situation. If not, they probably made your situation worse. So I feel like perfect timing is going to come. Some of you guys are like, oh, I got to wait a few months. But the angels are saying could be sooner than that. You know, this is really soon energy coming in here. And that's what I see for you guys. The good news is that you guys are going to flirt and with this person aligned, you're just going to really, 
be naturally connected to them and it's going to be really safe for you to love and yes this person coming in could be the one so not only is there the true love it could be the one i feel like you your ex or whatever may have might have been whoever that person was from your past may have been a true love but they were not the one which makes a lot of sense so that's what i see for my option number three people thank you so much for watching makes sense with three we have uh you know two different energies coming in there a third party you know not in a bad way, but a good third party coming in if you already know or were involved with somebody that, you know, was making your life miserable. All right. Option number four. Let's see who you guys are destined to be your true love. Oh my gosh, look. Number four. I'm not even going to lie about this. I said true love and true love came out. So you guys have the true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so this is number four people. Yes, um, your true love is your true love, as we know. They're going to be really worth waiting for. I feel like right now, you guys are healing a lot of family issues. So a lot of you guys don't know this person yet. And that's what I'm seeing. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. It's funny because I feel like although you don't know this person yet, it's like you guys miss each other. Does that make sense? Like both of you feel like you're divinely needed, like you're divinely guided to meet each other. I feel like upon meeting each other, you guys will kind of feel like, um, like you missed each other before you even met each other. Does that make sense? I don't know, that's just what I'm getting. You're gonna feel so happy when you meet this person. That is the feeling that comes in. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, like you kind of feel trapped right now in your problems and your issues, but you're meant to like work your way out of them. Any kind of feeling of trappedness you have regarding love or any situation you have, you're really meant to just work your way out of. And I feel like, you know, you guys are really passionate people. You will go towards your goals. I feel like this person could be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in their chart. And really, you guys right now need to focus on not having so much pride because I feel like right now may not be the right time for love, but I feel like you guys are really focused on, you know, your business, your family, all that kind of stuff. You guys may have a keen sense for business. You may be building something of value right now. I feel like you guys think that right now, like things are getting in the way of your true love or what you're meant to be with. Um, some of you guys may feel like you're meant to be with somebody I'm not talking about right now. And you feel like, oh, the universe, like you feel like there may be something in the way of getting what you want, but with your true love, there will be nothing, there will be no obstacles in the way of this person. There might be obstacles within the relationship, but when two people truly love each other, they don't let things get into the get in the way. So let go of your pride if you feel like uh, someone else may be your true love, but they're in a relationship or they're in a, you know, a situation that you guys can't be together in. Kind of a message that's coming through for some of you guys. Some of you guys just are keeping to yourself and just feel like for whatever reason, there's a wedge between you and love. And that's the reason is because it's just not the right time. So I feel like, you know, you could be meeting someone around December. They could be born in December. Makes sense with the Sagittarius energy. But yeah, I feel like you guys are dealing with some heartache right now. You could be missing somebody right now and hoping that that person is your true love. But I feel like there's just someone better coming in for you guys. And I feel like, you know, you're going to have a wish granted here. Now, I feel like if you were hoping to reconcile with somebody from your past, you will do that. But the angels are saying, you know, at the end of the day, I do feel like that person may not be the one for you. But I am feeling like you will meet someone within the next couple of weeks. So just look for a sign. So yeah, I'm also seeing, yeah, that's what I'm getting. You guys might be dealing with a karmic situation right now. So you might be hearing from this person you're hoping to hear from in the next couple of weeks. But the angels want to remind you that a karmic situation could be a soulmate. You guys could have past lives together, but it's not really a true love because a true love is when two people really like feel that pull towards each other and want to work towards each other, like a mutual, you know what I'm saying? It's a really mutual, not that I'm saying that person doesn't care about you, but I feel like there's, there are a lot of absency like energy going on there. So I feel like your wish is to be with someone that is as dedicated and loving as you are. And I feel like you can definitely meet this person, but you are a little bit in a karmic situation. I do see that. So once that balances out a little bit, I do feel like you guys will manifest this person into your life. I feel like, yeah, the person you're meant to be with is the magician here. So a magician person is charismatic and they will just contact you and go for it like they will they will, they will contact like i always think the magician as like contacting you so i feel like they're going to make a lot of contact with you and they're going to be really balanced towards you like i said the fire and the water coming in here it's like you guys will come together with equal energy it's not going to be one person trying harder than the other you know so i do feel like with the chariot here it's like just continue doing what you're doing guys don't worry you're going to meet the right person for you but i do feel like you have to be assertive with someone from your past to kind of end a cycle but I do feel like maybe um, by winter time, you might meet your soulmate. I'm getting winter December, so you could have met um, this person that from the past, I feel like, in the winter months. Or they could be a winter baby. But I'm also feeling like you could be meeting someone who was born in the winter. We got the sun, sun here. I kind of feel like, um, yeah, is there someone from your past? That's what I'm getting. 
with the sun here, it could be that like you have like a parent child relationship when you really want like a mutual relationship and you're going to have that come in and it is going to be a true love. So that's what I'm kind of getting here. And I feel like, you know, um, every chain of event will lead you to the right person you're meant to be. And, you know, I kind of feel like if this is stubborn, aggressive person from your past, they're not going to bring you to happiness. I feel like somebody new will, someone you can have true heart to heart conversations with and you will. And I feel like, you know, the person you're meant to be with could be involved in the law. They could be um, a lawyer or a law officer, or I see like someone involved with the law coming into your life and I'm seeing great chemistry. And just so to stay optimistic, guys, I feel like some of you guys may have met the new person as well, but you're still dealing with the karmic or some of you guys are dealing with the karmic, but, um, you will have a true love come in. Don't lose hope, you know? Not all relationships are meant to be that bumpy. And that's kind of what I see regardless of your situation. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let's move on to option number five and find out who your true love is. All right, so moving on. Option number five, let's see who your true love is. All right, so if you chose option number five, let's get right into it. So you could be going through some sort of separation right now in your life. You definitely need to let your friends support you. I do see this is very important because you guys really do deserve love. You might be going through a time period where you just feel like you're unworthy or depressed or just kind of lost or lost hope. Do not lose hope, guys. You guys deserve love. I feel like, you know, let yourself recover. And when you do recover, it's going to be time to choose a new direction away from the separation that you've been going through and just saying yes to that. So whenever I pull the yes card after I say something, it's like a, like they're giving me the thumbs up, you know? So you guys are ready to move forward and take action towards something new. As soon as this heartache is done and over with, I do feel like, yes, you will be receiving a message from this person from your past who is going to try to rekindle with you. And it could be a Leo or a Gemini, or you could be meeting a Leo or a Gemini, but let's see, you're definitely going to get a message from somebody from your past, but just be patient. Things will not always be this way. I feel like the um, angels are definitely going to protect you from any harm, so just keep going. The best way you guys are going to move forward and meet your true love is just doing risky things and taking chances on love. I do feel like, yeah, this person that you're meant to be with will really compliment you and compliment your life. And I also feel like you guys will experience some sort of financial windfall very soon as well, so congratulations on that. So remember, um, if you're dealing with separation from someone from your past, just let go and forgive. It's gonna bring you the most peace. Wow, I didn't even see that let go card, but I said let go and forgive, so there we go. There's just, you know, let go and forgive, and in the meantime, you guys might need to go outside, get some exercise. I feel like a lot of you guys need to start, you know, setting your intentions on what you want with your life, and you know, if you have a lot of pent up energy, or you have a lot of free time, and you don't wanna keep getting distracted from energies that no longer serve you, just go get exercise, spend some time alone, meditate. I feel like you guys will be doing a lot of self-love, self-reflection, and yeah, you will meet this person coming in. So yes, I do feel like, you know, with the lovers here, you will be meeting somebody new. But I do feel like right now you guys are going through a time period of just feeling hurt, rejected. But, you know, a lot of you guys are having like a lot of anxiety about moving forward. The more you allow yourself to move forward, the easier this new love can come in, guys. So I do see, you know, with the um, Page of Cups here, you guys need to start ignoring people who are younger than you, less mature than you, because I feel like you need to start going for people who really are dedicated to you because you are really smoking hot with the Queen of Wands. So a lot of people are going to want your time, energy, and attention. But I feel like at the end of the day, you need to go for people who are as mature as you are. So I feel you guys could have some fire in your chart. Leo, Sagittarius, um, you're going to be a water sign, um, air sign. doesn't really matter, guys. But I do feel like a lot of you guys are letting go of an energy from the past. Um... This person could have Leo or Gemini in their chart or air. They could be an air or um, what an earth sign, whatever. So let's see what else we see coming in for your love life. Yeah, the right person's going to make the effort towards you guys. And that's what I'm seeing. So let go of control issues. Another thing I'm seeing here with the Queen of Wands energy is that you guys may try to work really hard to kind of bring someone into your life. Maybe you tend to do a lot of the work in the relationship. And don't try to take on the masculine energy, especially if you have Leo in charge. I know, like, my Leo women are very assertive. But sometimes, like, you just have to allow, like, the person, like, to come pursue you. It should be equal energy. That's what I'm kind of getting for you guys. Your true love will make the effort towards you that you don't even have to feel like you're making a lot of the effort. You know, you guys get what I'm saying from option number five people? Because I feel like you don't mind making effort, but I feel like sometimes I feel like you guys waste your efforts on immature people when the right person will just make themselves known. So yeah, I do feel like the, the person you want to be with gives, gives amazing advice. This person will always bring you positive energy and they will bring you a lot of peace and harmony. And I'm also seeing that, you know, 
don't back down from people that try to make you feel less of yourself because you are on the road to success, guys. Oh my God, I'm hearing so much good news. You guys see this good news, news. So you guys are gonna be hearing some good news regarding your finances. So just let go, um, control your anger towards people in the past. I know it could be hard, but you guys are very attractive. That's the positive side. So just um, stop focusing your energy on someone who is undependable and indecisive. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, you guys are going through a separation right now is what I'm getting. So that's why your true love isn't really coming up in the cards too much. If you do want to pick another pile, go ahead and do so. But I just feel like you guys are releasing right now. And that's what this pile is about. And yeah, because I'm not really picking up the energy of the true love yet. But I feel like it's because you guys are really focusing a lot of energy on people who are undependable and insincere. So as soon as you eliminate those people more quickly and are able to identify them and stop using your firing energy to kind of like pursue them, I feel like you guys will definitely attract a wide amazing person in your life so um yeah let's see what else is coming in here seek out information that will help you so you guys need to seek out some information that's gonna help you on your dating life but ultimately there will be romance coming in and you guys are gonna get some kind of recognition because I feel like you guys are as ambitious in your love life as you are in your career life so there's gonna be some good material wealth coming in for you guys which is great um so romance is coming so um for a lot of you guys um pick another pile to kind of get more information about that but I feel like, yeah, you guys are waiting for some good news to happen. Some really good news is going to happen for you guys, my option number five people. Uh, it depends on your situation, but I got three cards about hearing good news. So that's really amazing. If you guys are waiting for some good news or to hear back about something or listening or waiting for some sort of like, you know, legal something or anything. So anything you could be hearing good news about. So that's what I got for my option number five people. I hope that helped. Love you guys. All right, moving forward. Option number six. Let's see. Who is your true love? So, you guys, okay. You guys might meet this person on a retreat or um, on a vacation, I'm getting. You guys are definitely calling in your soulmate right now as we speak. I am feeling like fate will bring you the right person. Um, some of you guys may be going through heartache in the past because you felt like for a lot of people you were just a choice. But for the person you're meant to be with, you will not be a choice. You will be a number one option. So you guys, you actually do have two different energies that are your true loves as well. So I do see this as well. So you guys could have Scorpio in your chart. Now, let's see. What, okay. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So you guys definitely are going to attract a soulmate who has a lot of abundance and is a very romantic person. And the angels are saying it's kind of up to you. So, okay. Ask your angels and no. So what is this about? Let's talk about this. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Um, some of you guys um, have been really indecisive about ending a relationship in your past, but I do feel like you guys do have some sort of soulmate that's coming in that's really wealthy and generous. That's what I'm kind of getting. I don't know what I'm getting into imagery about. Let's see, let's keep going with this. All right, choose a new direction. All right, hmm. So we have that there. Let's see what else. If you believe and... Try to get some clarity here. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is trying to tell you guys something. And I feel like uh, something about choosing a new direction away from somebody you might be involved with right now. And it's just kind of coming up. Um, I feel like your soulmate you're meant to be with, your true love, is a really helpful person. And I feel like a lot... Okay, this is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys do have a lot of success to you. A lot of abundance yourself. But be careful and stay away from people that kind of ask you for your time, your money, and your energy. Because I feel like you guys have been way too generous lately. So put that to an end and allow yourself to receive. I feel like your soulmate, your true love, loves to give. And I feel like you guys need to let this person in. Um, I feel like um, this person may be a vegetarian also. Or you may be a vegetarian. I feel like this person's coming with perfect timing. But a lot of you guys need to practice something. Let's see. I think you guys need to practice receiving. So you guys definitely are guaranteed for success. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles, I really am feeling like a lot of you guys definitely are really, really independent. And you know how to get what you want. The Nine of Nine here talks about solitude, getting what you want on your own. But it doesn't mean you can't have like an extra person to add to your life. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. And I feel like you guys definitely have a lot of strength. Um, I just kind of feel like for whatever reason you guys are choosing not to bring this new love into your life or to go for it. Maybe you're comfortable in a relationship that's not good for you right now. Or maybe with the Five of Swords, you guys are just comfortable with the same cycle that you've been doing. But I feel like you guys are guaranteed towards success. So the person you're meant to be with will come with the right timing. But I feel like you guys need to move away from something that isn't serving you right now. And a lot of you guys are in a relationship right now that isn't serving you. With the old woman here, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, 
maybe are too old for somebody that you're pursuing. I'm also seeing that or your mom doesn't like this person, you know what I mean? I heard my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like some of you guys are in a relationship right now, but this person is not the one. Like you guys need to be moving away from this person so you can attract the right person. I feel like this person that's around you is draining a lot of your time, energy, money, and resources. So it's time to choose a new direction. I feel like um, you guys might not be too aware of this. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm also getting that a lot of you guys, like it may not actually be your um a relationship that's draining you it could be also um some sort of job or situation because i see the nine of pentacles nine of cups maybe you guys are just not making time for love maybe you're just being too independent or taking too many trips you're not staying grounded like you're not giving yourself a chance to meet this person you're not really opening up i know you guys are guaranteed for financial success you guys know how to take your career but i feel like you guys maybe are just either in a relationship committing 100 percent that doesn't serve you or the complete opposite not interested in love and romance so I feel like, you know, you guys, um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's just gotta be a little bit more adaptable. I feel like you guys are meant to be with someone, maybe with fair hair, fair eyes, fair skin, possibly. I'm seeing that you guys definitely will be building a family with someone in the future, but some of you guys are young, maybe that's just coming in. I feel like, yeah, I feel like depression against someone coming out of your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, like you're just really depressed that in the past someone left your life that you really cared about and you kind of tried not to be in a relationship ever again. Or for some of you guys, you're scared to let somebody out of your life that you know is not good for you. It depends on your situation, but some of you guys are so afraid to let anyone in at all and you're super independent. And some of you guys are just like still independent but giving a lot of time and energy to somebody that need that doesn't really serve you so that's kind of what i'm seeing coming in here so um you'll be shown the way just go out and celebrate enjoy life i do feel like the person you're meant to be with your true love is an extremely helpful person i feel like this person um definitely wants to have your back and stuff but right now i feel like you guys were hopefully hoping for a validation that maybe someone was your true love that really isn't let's see i'm trying to see what's going on here because yeah, see, I feel like there's some secrets going on here with someone that you might have been involved with in the past and or just something you need to realize about yourself. And I feel like you guys will definitely have some new energy coming in very soon. Yeah, I, I definitely see this for you guys. All right, let's see what else is coming on here. Oh, yeah, new love. Bam. So you guys definitely will be attracting a new love. Whew. After all that, I do see a new love coming in. I feel like you're very close to meeting this new love, and this person will put you on a pedestal. So it's like you guys have to acknowledge what side of yourself doesn't want that for yourself. And I feel like you guys have so many options that you're just not exploring. Some of you guys are just afraid of exploring options, I feel like. You know, it may take the seven cups here to find this new love. You may have to date one, two, three, four, five, six people to find that new love and a lot of you guys like don't i don't try to be rude but you don't have the proper attitude like you might be like oh i don't want to go through another karmic relationship what if that la la is those two three relationships you need to go through to find that true love person those are valuable lessons anyway you know what i mean so if i say hey your next relationship is karmic a lot of you guys are just like you know their attitude in the comment section but it's like sometimes it's not realistic like to just meet your true love especially if you're young you a lot of us like i'm 24 years old and i have i say i had gone through one two three four i've gone through quite a few amount of uh, karmic relationships you know one very strong one but at the end of the day like if i was 18 and throwing that attitude like i don't want to date anybody like unless they're the true love or afraid to get out there then um that's what i kind of do see and it could be the, the flip some of you guys are one two three four five six like seven I just know why I'm seeing seven. Seven's about learning. It could be three loves that you have, you know? It could be three people you go through before you meet the right person for you. But I'm getting like, maybe you might be stuck at number two or stuck at number one when number three is the one. You guys get what I'm saying here? Like, um, you know, we have free will here. So it is divinely guided you will meet the right person. But, um, you know, it could slow down if you're just really, really stuck on something that isn't healthy for you. Some of you guys just like are saying, screw the cups and you're not dating at all, you know? And some of you guys need to put yourself out there and give people a chance and... That's kind of what I'm getting from my option number six people. It's, uh, it's all about lessons and learning and growth. And, you know, not every love is going to be a true intense love, but it is going to be a soulmate and people that you're going to care about and learn from. So all of that is valuable. I don't know why I'm going this rant right now, but I kind of see there's some kind of lesson or learning or obstacle you guys need to go through with the page of wands here. It's like either you're not realizing that someone is just not the one or you're just um, not focused on love or letting someone in at all. And that is kind of preventing you from getting to the point where you can meet this new true love for yourself. So that's why I'm kind of getting there. But you're guaranteed for success, guys. So just keep pushing forward and stepping out of your comfort zone. 
and yeah, I kind of feel like you're gonna have to deal with uncomfortable emotions. That's life, but this will cause you to change for the better. And you guys have a secret admirer right now as we speak. So if you're not letting any love in at all, or you're afraid to branch out and explore other options, don't be because you have so many more and maybe it's a self-love thing. But that's what I feel like for my option number six, people. Whoa, that was a long one. That makes sense because I was trying to like, whew, there was a lot of information coming in there at once. All right, so option number seven. Let's see who is your true love. All right. Let's see how we're at 39 minutes right now. All right, so here we go. So, okay. Yeah, you guys are definitely learning how to love yourself first. Makes sense. My number seven piles, learning growth, learning how to love yourself, and learning how to free yourself from toxic energy. Yes, it's like a lot of people will come back for you because you have a lot of value, have a lot of worth. Doesn't mean if this person comes back into your life from the past that's toxic. Doesn't make them the one, though. You guys get what I'm saying? Um... So you guys are really gifted. You could have some Aquarius in your chart. But I actually feel like you're meant to be with someone who is slightly older than you. I feel like the person you're meant to be with is in a position of authority. They could be born in January. Um, what does that make them? They could be a Capricorn or they could be a um, Aquarius as well. Okay, Aquarius came in. Makes sense. You could be born in January or February as well. But I feel like, yeah, you guys are meant to be with someone, I think, older. You don't have to be like an old man. Like, another card is a little scary. So you guys are older, so it makes sense. Um, But, I mean, like, older than you. There could be, like, a, an age gap. Five years, six years, seven years. But you guys are on the right path. You're definitely saying goodbye to something you that is no longer serving you. A lot of you guys might meet this person traveling, or this is a person who loves to travel. So you guys are destined to be with someone who loves traveling, who has the means to travel, who has a career that involves traveling. So easy does it. This person's going to come in when they're meant to. You guys are kind of working on bringing in a peaceful resolution with this old energy in your past. And I feel like at the end of the day, if you are confused or stuck, meditation will always bring answers. Angels are saying yes. Like, so you do have a true love coming in, guys. King of Swords. Ooh, once again, he might be an air sign or she might be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Aquarius energy is coming strong. This person has Aquarius energy, probably. You may too as well. Oh, or Libra energy. We got justice here. They could work for the court or they could be a lawyer or they could have, um, you know, um, a legal background or, or criminal law or whatever. I don't know. I just see justice coming in here. Um, or they could be someone who is really balanced, who really loves to stick up for people, hearing health fields as well. Very mature. This person is probably already defined in their career. They're very defined in who they are, where they want to go. That's why I'm saying they're a little older than you or let's say early old soul. Okay, with the three of pentacles here, um, this person is uh, really collaborative. Like they always want to work with you and goals work with groups. Um, they may also just help you out with whatever you're working on if you have a business a job like they love being helpful towards you this person sounds really amazing so i feel like um let's see yeah i feel like you guys are just planning on right now overcoming some obstacle you have in the past and i feel like you know you may have felt in the past that you had unsuccessful outcomes to your problems but i feel like now you guys will be experiencing just going out with a friend like you might meet this person just by just like pure chance and I feel like for a lot of you guys wealth okay so you and this person definitely have goals about achieving wealth in the future all that kind of stuff vacation again so you might meet this person on a vacation when you go on a trip or this person loves a vacation um so I feel like yes this person definitely has personal strength and they they are definitely assured that like they're, that they're gonna um reach success you guys might be going through a loss right now or some pretty tough stuff but it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have great passion and opportunity in the future so don't worry about that you know i feel like for a lot of you guys um you know sometimes it's okay not to take advice from a friend if you know like where you're going some people don't always understand your path or the path that you're on so you don't always have to listen to everybody around you but i do feel like this person this soulmate this true love will give you great advice and i feel like a lot of you guys are frustrated because you feel like your friends don't really give you the best advice but i feel like this person will give you really great advice so we got position of authority and honor and respect will come to you it makes me think that you and this person both are very um successful i feel like you guys will be successful this person owns is the boss leads in their own life you will own be the boss of be respected in your own life so you know like and like attracts each other so that's what i see um clarity here you know this is just the person comes in and you just know they're the one for you so yeah your guys's life both revolve around work achievement success um like i said before you guys are kind of going through some sort of so sorrow right now but i feel like Maybe regarding your family or something that happened in the past, but things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This person represents that change coming in your life. And I feel like, yeah, that you guys will overcome your obstacles. 
Um, yeah, so, hmm. Let's see what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, hmm, this is interesting. I feel like this person, like, does have, like, a lot of sexual energy to them. But I kind of do feel like, for a lot of you guys, you're also meeting, like, a close female friend as well. I don't know why I'm also getting this person, like, I, like, when I saw these cards together, I was like, hmm, what does this mean? But I got happiness here as well. So I feel like this person, although they have sexual energy, they're not very sexually motivated. Does that make sense? Like, they're not motivated by that. They're very logical. So it's like, yes, they're capable of great passion, but you don't have to worry about this person womanizing or anything like that. Maybe that was a worry of yours because you've dealt with that. But I feel like, yeah, there's some sort of victory coming here. It's very strong. So yeah, you guys have been just very disappointed in the past with someone from your past. And I feel like that kind of clouded the way you view relationships. But I just feel like at the end of the day, you guys will have a successful outcome to your problems. Um, I feel like also deep friendships with the same gender is coming in for you guys. So keep working on your friendships as well. This would be really helpful to you if you're going through a dark time. I feel like someone with dark hair wants to help you out. And they want to help you overcome your problems. So I'm also getting, wow, okay. So I'm asking for a lot of you guys. A true love is also like a female friend for a lot of you too. Coming in or maybe in your life as we speak. So that's really awesome, guys. A, a female friend also really loves and cares about you and has your back. And I'm not saying like a lesbian way. I mean, could be, but I mean like at the end of the day, some of you guys are actually like lesbian and then like a woman's coming in because this person is a woman, but I'm seeing two different energies. So it could be a friendship and a love relationship. So you guys are definitely destined for love and support in your life. And I feel like you guys really need it. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And this person, of course, they're coming with perfect time and for a lot of you guys they're coming very soon so they're gonna come at the right timing for you thank you guys so much for watching um some of you guys already know the female friend but i mean like the love relationship or vice versa all right let's see what we're at 46 minutes option number eight let's see who your true love is so all right so this person all right let's see what's going on here this is someone you haven't met yet I feel like you guys definitely close the door on someone very codependent and you're ready for a new chapter. Some of you guys have cancer in your chart or you're attracting someone with cancer energy. So, you know, very mothering, nurturing, um, compassionate person. I feel like you guys definitely went through a lot of trouble in the past, but you kind of got through it or going to get through it because you're going to have deep friendships with people. And I feel like this is going to really help you guys out. And I feel like you guys are ready to go on this next journey, this next chapter. You could be meeting this person in the summertime because we got new and new. So we definitely had a new love coming in here for my option number eight people. Um, you guys definitely continue. Like if you're feeling kind of bored with your life, I feel like get your head in the books because I feel like you guys love learning. And the more you learn, the more you're going to be able to take up your time. Like some of you guys may be dealing with some boredom and I feel like you need to start learning again. A lot of you guys have been working on your affirmations and you're wondering like, why aren't they working? They're coming, they're coming. Especially if you're working on like fitness goals and stuff like that. It's like, I feel like the right timing is for everything. Even if you do your affirmations. So you guys are working on fitness goals, making diet changes. And I feel like a lot of you guys will be successful in that within the next couple of weeks or months. I know it kind of came in. So I feel like some of you guys are trying to affirm and like use a lot of attraction to assist you in your goals. And it is going to work out. You guys are definitely letting go of something right now, so no need to worry. I feel like that was taking up a lot of your energy. Now you're ready to start some new chapter here. In the near future, I do see you guys just getting more information again. So a lot of learning is going into your life right now. Let's see what you're getting information. So if you guys have some problems you feel like you need to overcome, but doing research is gonna help you inform yourself. And I'll give you guys an example. It's just that like, if you went through something tough that you feel guilty or upset about, if you do a lot of research about that, maybe you're making, maybe a lot of people went through that and other people will help you through that. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like getting more information and expanding your mind about different perspectives will help you get through a tough time. I'm also seeing for you guys, yeah, with the five of cups, you may have been dealing with loss about something from your past, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, you don't, you don't really understand why these problems happen, why these things happen, but it's not for you to judge yourself. It's about going through an epiphany. When I see judgment, it's also just like, like that aha moment. It's not actually about judgment. It's about just knowing exactly where you're meant to go. And, you know, so I feel like you guys had some sort of life changing moment. And I feel like, you know, to let go of something from your past and the devil is here. Like we always have that devil on our shoulders, kind of, you know, making us doubt ourselves or making us feel bad about ourselves or making us fear. And this is actually, you went through an experience to, to help yourself release fear from your life. And you went through something that required you to be brave. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're ready for this new love 
and you don't understand why all these problems occurred on your way to this chapter but just know that in the near future you are destined for happiness and some of you guys know what I'm talking about, some of you guys don't know, but I feel like you've been going through a depression, harsh time. Something happened to you and you're just thinking like, why this happened to me? And you just are saying, it's a life-changing epiphany and, you know, not all miracles are uh, not always in silver packages or whatever the expression is. Um, some miracles are disguised as, um, you know, some blessings are just, what, are you, what am I trying to say? You guys know what I'm talking about. Some miracles are just, are painful endings to things. Does that make sense? Um, or tragedies almost you know and that doesn't make much sense because we do not understand exactly but i believe that every chain of events leads you where you need to be and if you show strength and courage and growth it changes you to the point where you become a better person and i see you guys been through a lot and you know you need someone at the end of the day who's going to nurture or care about you and i do feel like this person's coming in the near future i feel like this person could have leo in their chart as well coming into your life i see the sun here i see the moon they could have um you know scorpio cancer um energy pisces energy even Wow, May. This person could be coming in May. So I feel like, you know, whatever this hurt pain you went through was a short journey. But you have a long journey with someone else. And I feel like, you know, marriage, possibly. You could be marrying someone you're marrying next month in May. So I feel like, you guys, if you're going through confusion or hurt, you might just be misunderstanding a situation in your life. So make sure you get clarity and really talk to your angels and ask them, hey, why did I go through this? What did you want me to learn? Let me get clarity about this. So you guys could be meeting someone in August or someone born in May or August. But I feel like these are going to be significant months. Some of you guys might meet someone in May and be engaged by August. Uh, you know, like crazy, but I feel like um, you are breaking down some sort of relationship in your life right now or had to break something down. But I feel like, you know, you guys went on a, like a really, like life has been a rough journey, but you're definitely going to meet the right person for you. And I feel like you're just venturing away from a danger zone and you're going into a safe zone. So I feel like, you know, a lot of tough things happened, but they actually were serving as warnings that if you didn't get out of a certain situation, you know, you, you know, you, I feel like you guys were going to get out of a situation regardless, but I feel like some things happened that weren't like, that were harsh, but they were actually warning signs for you, you know? So I feel like, you know, you have fears going on, but it was just because there was someone in your life really behaving in a way that was stupid and you guys were meant to move forward from that. So a new path that's opening up to you guys. Don't worry. You are really highly protected. I feel like this new soulmate in your life is a protective, powerful person. Also, you have friends that really care about you. You guys have really great karma. And you guys are protective and powerful. So it's time for you to receive that back in your life. And you guys will just be focusing on your work more. And don't worry. You have good luck coming in. Any problems that you were dealing with in the past were temporary. So just let it go. You don't need to worry anymore. You're going to get a gift. You see how this problem, you see how these problems you went through were gifts? You guys get what I'm saying? Because it would only help you get to where you need to be. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, persevere. Because you have good fortune. Again, good luck, good fortune. So keep going with that. Um, you will be meeting your true love. And I know this reading was about your true love. But I don't know why. But this, I guess we went on a side note. So um, who is your true love? Let's talk about that a little bit more. Okay, so... Um, Okay, okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys just really focus on your career right now. That's why these cards are coming up like that. Don't worry, guys. You will have your material wealth. You will do well. You are doing great. As a matter of fact, you can, like, spend a little more of your money. Don't worry about your money so much, okay? Um, your true love is a bit of a hermit, yes. It's someone who keeps to themselves. It's someone who serves. This is someone, someone who's in a mentorship ability. This is someone very spiritual. It's someone who believes in God, I feel like, who really, like, believes in God a lot, who prays, I'm seeing. This is somebody who's been suffered in their life they have been left out in the cold and i feel like with the three of wands here you guys are ready to bring in this person who is meant to come in and i feel like for a lot of you guys this person's been through a lot of transformations in their life and they have a lot of stability and they want to work as a team with you and this person will find you very beautiful very attractive and this person will admire your psychic gifts psychic abilities and this person's going to come in with a lot of opportunity as well so that's what i see and they're coming in the near future so yeah this is this is the person that you're meant to be with your true love and yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening to um all the messages that come through, but you know, when I feel like there's a message that needs to come through, I'm going to say it and I feel like, you know, let me know if it helps you out, you know, because I feel like it's more than just telling your future. I feel like channeling messages and helping others is, is about, you know, speaking your truth and just giving people what they need to grow in the current moment. You know, if we just talk about what's coming in the future. How does that help you in the present? So helping you work through whatever it is you guys are going through right now. I feel like that's part of my job. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, some of you guys are like, you go off topic, but, um, I feel like one person said that ever. Most of you guys are very supportive, but I take into account everything people say and I'm like, well, it's just the angels. Like, the, you know, if it starts to go that way, I'm going to read it that way. All right. Anyway, moving on. I hope that helped. All right. Option number nine, last but not least. Let's see what, we're at 54 minutes. All right, not bad. 
Let's see who your true love is. Well, you guys definitely have a true love with your career, with your destiny. I see that right away. Um, you guys are really devoted uh, people, and I feel like you could have some Pisces in your chart, or your true love could be a Pisces, or a Pisces in their chart. All right, so... Yeah, you guys definitely may attract people younger than you or less mature than you. And you definitely had obstacles to overcome with those people. But I feel like you will be experiencing a time period of abundance. And yeah, there's definitely a younger man that maybe you guys thought was your true love. And they do think of you highly um, as a friend. And they could be born in November and that's just coming in. It's like, yes, like maybe you guys were thinking about this person. But they're saying, yes, this person like thinks of you as a friend. But I feel like they're not your true love because I feel like someone else is coming in. Okay, so... Let's see. I feel like you guys, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so a lot of guys would be like young, so I feel like maybe it's just not the right time for love, but I feel like with this, like there will be people that come in that really excite you, that help you, that give you an opportunity to learn and grow. So don't stop what you're doing. I do feel like you will be meeting your true love a year from now, but the Eight of Swords is like, a lot of you guys will just like, you guys are probably like not really focused on that or maybe you don't believe it or you don't really see it coming right now but right now i feel like it's time for you guys to learn and grow a little bit i feel like you guys will be going through a new career and this career is purpose is part of your true love because when i see pisces energy i think about spirituality and doing things for a deeper cause and i feel like you know my 10th house is pisces i've been through a lot of time periods in my life where like I felt like I'm also a Pisces, I'm, a, I'm Aquarius, but I'm the Pisces cusp. So I have some Pisces energy. And I always feel like a lot of times in my life, like I felt like my job was my love or you know what I mean? Like my purpose was my love. And I feel like you guys will go through that. Like you're very devoted to your job, your career. It will bring you so much fulfillment. I feel like you guys will hit a goal in your career and it's coming in. Like your true love is your career. <laughs> I know my was number nine people. It's nine. Nine is a hermit number. Makes sense. Spiritual number. I feel like you guys have a big life purpose. And this involves around your career. And I feel like your love life, it's almost like your love life supplements that. Because if you're meeting and mentoring people and your romantic relationships are also for learning and for growth, then, you know, or for them to, you to learn or help or heal, you know, I feel like a lot of your relationships will come in with that same type of energy because that's the type of person that you are. I feel like you'll be getting to know a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people will devote it to you, but you guys may not take it so seriously. But the seven of swords here, you might have dealt with someone in the past that like really loved or cared about you, but they didn't show it, you know? And they do, I get this could be this person over here, like they do have feelings for you, but they're not your true love. Because your true love is coming, probably not the right time, because you're not seeing it, but they'll probably come like a year from now or a little further out. But I feel like it depends on your situation. Also, it could be like just further out from when you watch this reading. So there's just something else more relevant going on here. So you guys are just being advised to be yourself and you know to to just be the healer you're meant to be so be healing healed healer you get what i'm saying it's saying to you guys healing energy surrounds you in this situation um you attract a lot of people because you're a healer and a lot of people are um will believe that you're their true love because you've healed them you've helped them that's the type of energy that you have so i feel like you guys will always get opportunities for love so don't stop being you but i feel like you know you guys gotta be honest with yourself about what you want and these people gotta be honest with you in order to really develop a strong relationship with you. But let's see more about the true love. So slowly but surely, you guys are getting ahead in your life, but I feel like you guys are so career oriented. It says beware of greed. So just be aware of holding on to your money too much, but I do feel like happiness and well-being will be coming. I mean, you may have started something in March or you could be born in March. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys will be attracting a Pisces energy because I'm seeing the March energy again. Or you are a Pisces energy. Or you made some sort of decision in March or started some, some sort of business or dedicated yourself to something in March. So I'm seeing like you'll be receiving a gift. from. Some, I feel like you have a lot of admirers. Like You will be receiving a lot of gifts. But you guys are really focused on your material wealth. So let's see what else. We got some stubborn energy. I feel like you guys are really stubborn, hardworking. You're going to have to allow yourself to be lighthearted and carefree in order to attract love. And I feel like, especially with your family, some of you guys may have issues with your family. You need to be more lighthearted and carefree with your family because they are causing you some lighthearted, um, unclear thinking. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being really indecisive um, because you're letting other people control your life. So you're going to have a wish granted about somebody leaving your life, maybe a family member you don't like or a friend. So that's good. Um, I feel like you guys need to just go out and have fun. This is the message you need to hear and you need to go after more excitement. And I feel like you guys will have a lot of success with your effort. So maybe you guys, okay, so you do have a love coming in your future. Let's talk about this. But I feel like right now you're feeling too tied and frustrated. You're feeling too like frustrated about something. So... Don't worry what people say about you. If you're worried what people are talking about you, 
I feel like, you know, for a lot of, for a lot of you guys, like this month of April was just about you guys just learning how to get through or whatever month it is right now, getting through like temptations and just moving forward. Um, let's see what messages we can get about your true love because we got, that's what I'm getting here. See how we have free will in the triangle here? You guys can definitely start dating and experiencing people and you know getting to know people right now but you may not have a true strong love coming to like another year or so because you are meant to work on yourself deal with some family problems and your career is coming in very strong your life purpose and that's kind of the truth and i feel like you guys could choose to date or opt to date but there will always be a third energy distracting you which is your life purpose and i remember this because i went through so many times in my life if not right now that like i really focus on my career and like you know it comes first and some people will get in the way of that. So you guys are the same energy. If someone's getting in the way of something that you need to get done, your life purpose, your career, or, you know, you'll probably cut them out. And I feel like a lot of these people who need healing and help will want to come to you for advice and all this stuff. And maybe you're going to keep them at a distance till you, you know, you meet this true love of yours. Well, I feel like they could be coming um, a year from now or at the end of this year or even six or eight months from now, but it's just not like the near future. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. And I like to read very current energy because if I tell you your true love is this, 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 and this, and then they're not coming for another five years, how does that help you right now in your current situation? So yes, you do have an emperor energy coming in, but I see with the page of pentacles, you guys are going to have the Go through some learning before you meet this person, but you are destined to be with somebody. Wow, the Empress and the Empress came up together. So, you know, you guys do have um, someone you're meant to be with. And if you want to know about this person, there are someone who's very stable, grounded. They're almost like a fatherly type of energy. They're just someone who's really assertive. I feel like they own a lot of pets, like, and um, they're an animal lover too. I feel like they're very wise beyond their years. And when you meet this person, like, you guys will be, like, together forever type of energy. So that's why I feel like for now, it's just meant to learning and growing because you're going to meet someone who who really compliments you in the future so that's kind of the message here see we got the ten of pentacles for now with the three of cups just enjoy your friendships enjoy like learning and from all the different people that come into your life be a little bit more carefree and have fun and that's really going to help you with your life because you can experience a lot of happiness through that through your career through your dreams and i feel like the ten of pentacles here it's all going to make sense and come together with this emperor energy and that's amazing these two came up over here so there's a happy ending to you guys um you could be meeting this person sometime later in the year but i feel like for now your career is going to be working out really great and that's the message that came through thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy your day night whenever you get to this reading and yeah um once again thank you so much give me a thumbs up a comment give me some feedback and those are the messages that came through for you guys today thank you so much bye